Greetings friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. I'm marketing master Jim Ackerman and this is your 30 second marketers tip of the day. Last time we talked about how to romance the offer or we at least talked about the idea that you must romance the offer if you're going to get people to say yes. Today we're going to talk about the specifics of how to romance the offer. You see, if you want people to say yes, you must realize that offers are made up of two key parts, conditions and appeals. Conditions are the things about your offer that the customer is likely to rather do without, where the appeals are the things that they're going to like about your offer. Conditions are limitations. They have to do with price and any limiting terms. Naturally, we'd all like to get everything in our lives for free whenever we want and in whatever quantity we want, but that's not the way life works. So, whatever your price is, is a condition of making this purchase and any limited terms like a limited supply or a limited time availability or the need to meet credit requirements whatever it happens to be these are conditions of your offer the fun part though is the appeals there are a variety of methods for making your offer more appealing number one you can use price manipulation it's another word for discounts and people do like discounts but you know what they like even more than discounts? They like value-added offers, ways that you can add things to it. Remember when we talked about the Ginsu knives, we talked about all the things they add on. Well, you can add things on in the form of bonuses. Let me tell you, I love Oreo cookies. And once or twice a year, Nabisco will come out with a special offer when instead of getting a one pound package of Oreos, they will give you a extra quarter pound for free. That's when me and my family really stock up. That's known as a bonus, more of the same. The other thing you can do is use premiums. Premiums are not the same thing, but if Oreos gave you a coupon for free half gallon of milk to go along with it, that would be a premium. The most famous premiums are Cracker Jacks, candy coated popcorn, peanuts, and a prize. That's the premium you get with Cracker Jack. Other ways to sweeten the pot? Well, you could use free trials. Think about that. Could you use the puppy dog clothes? Let your customer take the product home and use it for a limited period of time and then of course they can always bring it back if they want to or they can take it home and use it for a period of time without even paying for it and bring it back if they don't want to. It's the puppy dog clothes, it's the idea of a free trial. By the way, there's other ways to do free trials. Have you ever gone to the grocery store on a Saturday afternoon? Well, you can get your lunch there based on the free trials that they give you and of course since they've given you that free trial you feel a sense of reciprocation or a need to buy that product. It works very well. Final pot sweetener, risk reversal. Guarantees. If you can lower the barrier of risk by giving people a guarantee, especially if it's a guarantee that's better than in your industry norms, you have a great uh, opportunity to lower that barrier to entry and get people to say yes to your offers. And that, my friend, is your 30 second marketers tip of the day.